Okay, so uh, in this uh, tutorial we're actually going to talk about uh, creating a specific paid ad rather than just boosting a post. So in this ad you have to have a uh, Skillful Mind AdWords, sorry, a Facebook AdWords account obviously and mine is connected to my business page, um, Skillful Mind. And so if I go here you can see your ads manager. If this isn't here, you might have to go to all tools and, and find ads manager over here. And I've been doing a fair bit of advertising already uh, on um, leaders and I've got one still going in the background. Um, just doing a few dollars each day. Um, but you can see here over the last year or so, I've probably spent more than 10 grand on ads. It does work, um, but as I said in my uh, affiliate program, I would rather give this money to you guys, the leaders, rather than to Facebook. But if you want to actually spend time working on Facebook, uh, then it does work, ads do work. Uh, the two keys, once you've got an ad that looks pretty good, is the targeting of the people. You've got to be so spend so much time on trying to just target those exact people that um, are converting for you. And I went through that in my previous video, uh, some generalities, but um, you need to try ads, try a broad range of people, see who you're getting clicking on and then just target those people. And then also following up with people. And in this one, we'll just have an ad running to a, uh, your affiliate link uh, but in the next one we'll actually use a lead form and you deliberately have to follow up by giving them a phone call um, but for this one uh, you'll start off now if you haven't uh, ever created a uh, ad you'll have to start off with a new campaign I've got lots of campaigns here so I don't want to create any more uh, so I'll go into just one of these and you can see I've got uh, two ad sets. None of these are running at the moment, but uh, let me assume. Let me say I'm going to create a new ad, and you'll see here. As I say, uh, you'll have to create a um, new campaign, and you'll have to choose the objective. In this case, the objective is uh, conversions. But there are another, other, another, uh, a number of different other ones to try as well. And you'll see in the next one we do lead forms. Um, I am no super expert on uh, Facebook ads. Uh, having said that, I did Facebook ads for quite a while. Uh, and then I thought I'd bring in a consultant, um, a really great consultant from Holland. And quite frankly, they didn't do any better than me. So... <laughs> Uh, I really feel that uh, it's not that hard to do an ads campaign and it's more about you just being on that campaign and making sure your budgets are right and making sure you're trying to select the right people. So anyway, once you've uh, filled out the campaign level, then you need to create an ad set and I've got three ad sets, Australia, the UK, New Zealand and I think I had the US as well at one stage. And you need to set a budget per day for the whole ad set. So in the ad set, you'll create lots of ads. And then that $10 is spread over uh, the different ads. And there's a whole lot of options running continuously. Let uh, Facebook optimize it for you. Um, you have to charge per impression. That's the only choice. Um, yeah. When you deliver your ads, that's all pretty standard. And then we get into actually creating the ads. You'll see you can have several pictures on the one ad called a carousel, which you've seen. I honestly go for the simplest one, which is a single image. I've played around with these and I don't think they convert any better, but you might want to try them. This is new, a collection. I don't know if I've ever tried that. And this ad instant experience is also new. So I have no idea what this is. Um, looks like we have to create a template so maybe I'll turn that off for now uh, but if I play with that uh, in future I'll add another video 
maybe to see whether this instant experience on a mobile is worthwhile doing. So uh, you can create a video and we do have a few videos. What I'll do is uh, underneath this uh, video, I shall upload some images and possibly some Im videos for you uh, to use, or of course you can find your own images to use. But uh, you will upload an image. Um, I have got several images already. So, uh, you see I've got lots of stuff from other retreats. Um, meditation group. I'll try this one. This image seems to have worked reasonably well for me in the past. And free stock images. It looks like Facebook have a whole lot of stock images now. And then you uh, write down your, uh, your details. Now, in the URL, you're going to have to put a URL, so it just open to your affiliate link and grab that and put your affiliate link in here. Then the headline, um, you know, this says already want to start a meditation group. So the headline may be, I'll put it. And then learn more is fine. Enter the texts. Um, you can put um, everything you need to start your own meditation class. This is new, this is a Facebook event, so we want to uh, go to the website because that's your, your URL. Advanced options, you can put those in as well. Um, and then this is pixel tracking, if you're advanced you know how to do that. So that's basically it for setting up the, the group. I'm not sure what this display URL, I'll have to check that out. Um, normally there's a place here where it actually tells you what the, yeah, here we are, display link optional. So you can either leave that blank or you can put skillful mind.net. It just makes it look a little bit more official um, but people are going to click on it, they're not actually going to type on it, so so that helps make it look a little bit more efficient. Uh, clear on this. Oh, the name. So we'll change the name, I'll change this to the 2019 demo ad. Ah. Uh, this error. Okay, so it looks like the error was in the website URL and you can't have the HTTPS at the front, so you just have the website without that HTTPS and that'll work. Uh, so right, so we're now ready to uh, review the ad and here it looks good. And then we save it, and then that needs to be actually reviewed by Facebook. It usually takes less than an hour, often about 10 minutes, and then they will actually... Um, but anyway, this looks pretty good. So then we publish, and that should be sent to Facebook for review and will generally take about an hour or so to come online. So if we now move this pane, you can see here it's in review. Um, and 
one thing uh, I will say if I just edit this one, if in that process you add multiple pictures, it will actually create uh, multiple ad sets all with a different picture. Yeah, so you'll see the actual ad set is exactly the same. Um, and I'll put this text in as well. I'll put some example text. This We Need Meditation Leaders has worked pretty well as, as well. Um, so I'll put some of that in the, the page below as well. Um, and then you can monitor how well uh, your ads are doing. So if we look at the and then the actual ad needs to be on. So this is the only one that's on and we'll be reviewing. And you can see that um, Facebook will actually start, if you have multiple ads, Facebook will start sending traffic to all the ads. And after a while, it'll look at this cost per result and it'll spend more money on the ads which it thinks are spending the least amount of money per click. Um, so you can leave it for um, Facebook to optimize. I don't really trust the algorithm that much because quite frankly uh, I've had these set of ads in different areas and um, sometimes this one will perform better, sometimes this one will perform better according to Facebook and there should be no difference. So uh, for what it's worth I'm not sure how good that algorithm is but um, some people think it's very good so you can leave Facebook to, to optimize. So if there's any questions just let me know but that's basically how you set up a simple ad set that points to your particular affiliate link.